Common Rider Kuga in the Marvel World. Chapter 21. The fifth generation is racing again. This time, the fifth generation can be said to have directly released the desire that has not been racing for many years. It is speeding on the road leading to Tony's villa, even to experience the ability of driving on water that Tony mentioned. The fifth generation jumped directly from the cliff on his motorcycle. Sure enough, he could still drive on the water and the speed was very fast. And so is the climbing ability. The fifth generation went directly from the bottom of the cliff to the top of the cliff along the protruding rocks. It can be said that with this motorcycle, the combat effectiveness of the fifth generation will be greatly improved, and it will be much easier to deal with all Gurungi, only. If only Golem was still here. The fifth generation currently lacks air-to-air -air capabilities. Although this locomotive can glide for a short period of time or jet forward, it is unable to engage in long-term air-to-air combat. Buzz buzz. Suddenly the fifth generation's movement stopped, and the fifth generation felt the fragments of Daguba's belt, and suddenly the fifth generation drove the locomotive towards the distance. This time the place is at sea. Fifth generation turned the handlebar of the motorcycle, jumped off the cliff again, and landed on the sea. The speed of the car was very fast, causing waves to form. The fifth generation was looking directly at the sea somewhere far away, and at the same time, the driver on his waist emerged from the fifth generation's body. Godai turned the handle of the car to the highest speed, and suddenly the spirit stone on his waist released a trace of green light. Godai looked down at the spirit stone on his waist in surprise. Buzz buzz, as a strange buzz sounded, Wudai heard a voice. Lin Duo said, I'm awake. Golem. The fifth generation was overjoyed and very surprised at the same time. It was a pity that Golem did not follow him just now, but why is the will of Golem in his belt? According to ancient records, the armored machine Golem has, horse armor, means that it has the ability to fly, and it can also carry Kuga in the air. It can be said that Golem has self-awareness and has the ability to speak, or all in Linduo language. In super ancient times, Linduo was even called the, messenger of God. Linduo you, the ultimate arrival, the will of the will. Wake up now. For some reason, Godai felt that Golem's words seemed to speak more fluently. When he was in the mask world, Golem's words were all intermittently, although it seems that he has a will, his speech is not so coherent. No matter what, Golem, lend me a helping hand. The fifth generation did not delve into the situation of Golem, but since the Golem is here, the fifth generation will have stronger help. Linduo said. Yes. Master. Buzz buzz, as the driver on the fifth generation's waist shone more and more clearly, the motorcycle under the fifth generation's crotch began to change. The original light motorcycle slowly appeared in a set of thick black, gold and red. Heavy armor. It suddenly transformed from a light motorcycle to a heavy motorcycle. At the same time, a Kuga pattern appeared on the front of the car, and there were a pair of sharp corners, and three pairs of jets appeared on the rear of the car. Boom, as the fifth generation turned the handlebar, the heavy motorcycle made a roaring sound, and then turned into a shadow and drove towards the sea in the distance. The speed was so fast that there was even a sonic boom. This was beyond the speed of sound. Speed. At this speed, Godai arrived at the destination ten minutes later. It was a yacht with gunshots everywhere. Henshin. When the fifth generation sensed that the fragments were getting closer, the driver on his waist released energy, and then the spiritual stone Yamadam in the middle turned blue. At the same time, the surrounding water rotated and turned into a water dragon, entwining around the fifth generation. Under the power, a set of blue armor appears on the body of Godain. When an evil thing appears, he turns his skills into invisible things and calms down the evil leader water warrior in the form of flowing water. Cayman. Rider Kuga's blue dragon form. After the fifth generation was finished, he directly saw the shark-like monster grabbing a woman on the deck of the yacht. The fifth generation took a look and saw two children nearby hiding aside in fear, and there was another man holding a pistol. Aiming at the shark monster, he shot wildly. The pistol hit, and if it were placed on a human, it would almost all be critical. However, this shark has become a Gurungi, so its invulnerability is naturally the basis. The shark was not moved at all, but stood with its mouth wide open and tried to bite the woman. When Godai saw this, he turned the handle of the car, then raised the front of the car directly towards the shark Gurungi from above the water. 
At the same time, he reached out and grabbed the restrained woman. With this move, the fifth generation directly grabbed the shark Gurungi with the claws in front of the car and stopped directly on the yacht's armor. After putting down the woman in his hand, Godai looked at the distant continent, turned the handle of the car, and directly used the forklift to take shark Gurungi towards the distant land. And all this happened too fast. The man was also shocked, and immediately ran over and held his wife in his arms. Laura, are you okay? I'm okay. What was that that Clint just did? And the woman held in the man's arms breathed a sigh of relief and looked at the two children in a panic. I don't know, but it's definitely not a good thing. You take your children and hide in the cabin. The man named Clint said seriously, and then entered the cabin with his children and wife. Be careful. Laura took out a pistol from the cabinet on one side, while Clint took out a black longbow directly from the bag on one side, as well as a special quiver. I will. Clint kissed his wife, then put the pistol on the gun belt on his leg. After giving each of the two children a forehead kiss, he directly opened a small hatch in the speedboat. Inside was a small hatch. Get on a jet ski. Boss. There's something wrong on my end. Getting on the jet ski, Clint put an earphone on his ears at the same time. He pressed the upper button at the same time. Clint. Isn't it a day off today? What's the matter? After a while, a lady's voice rang over there. We are attacked by monsters and may need support. Clint increased the speed of the jet ski and chased in the direction where the fifth generation had just left. At the same time, he reported everything that had just happened. On the fifth generation's side, the fifth generation brought Shark Gurungi to the beach on the mainland. He suddenly braked and threw Shark Gurungi away, rolling on the ground. The fifth generation stopped the motorcycle, pulled out the handlebar directly, and then flicked it, and the two sides of the handlebar extended out and turned into a long stick. At the same time, the blue spirit stone on his waist released a slight power, directly turning the stick in Godai's hand into a long blue stick. Ching long stick. Ouch, this time the shark stared at Wudai with blood red eyes and screamed, and then spat out a ball of black material from his mouth. Wudai was slightly startled and took a few steps back. Who knew these black materials after landing, it actually melted the entire land. Even the black material released a faint black mist, causing the flowers and plants nearby to wither. Extremely poisonous. The fifth generation was a little surprised. Logically speaking, it should be impossible. Where did the sharks get the poison? At the same time, the fifth generation also discovered that the shark Gurungi in front of him had some black viscosity that was different from the Zunkang shark. This made the fifth generation feel very strange. However, Shark Gurungi did not give fifth generation a chance to think, and directly exposed himself, attacking directly towards fifth generation. Seeing this, fifth generation directly blocked Shark Gurungi's attack with the blue dragon stick. There was a large bruise on his body, and the blood seeping out from it was actually black. Godai became more and more curious, but despite his curiosity, Godai's attack did not pull down again. This time, Shark Grunge seemed to be in pain, half kneeling on the ground and vomiting. Like the previous supplies, these black things corroded the ground when they touched it. Looks like we can't kill him here. Otherwise this piece will be destroyed. The fifth generation's original plan to kill the opponent directly was cancelled. The black blood contained in the body of this shark Gurungi is a very corrosive liquid. If the opponent is killed here, the liquid in the opponent's body will destroy the surrounding area if it explodes. They were all destroyed. Thinking of this, Wudai shifted his gaze and placed it on the seabed in the distance. There were also some strange materials there. It seemed that a certain company had dumped highly polluting biochemical waste there. Place. Upon seeing this, fifth generation directly hit Shark Gurungi's chin with another green dragon stick. This blow was so powerful that the shark was almost unable to move. Fifth generation saw the fragment on shark Gurungi's abdomen. It was somewhat polluted by the black one. It seemed that the debris should have fallen there, and then it was encountered by this shark. So Godai once again rode the pickup truck and prepared to take it to the sea, but in when the fifth generation just got on the motorcycle, two arrows flew from the distance and pierced directly into the body of the shark Gurungi. Boom. The bombs attached to the two arrows were so powerful that they directly blew up a large piece of Shark Gurungi's body, and black blood flowed all over the ground. The fifth generation turned around and looked over. 
It was the one who was on the speedboat before. The man was driving the jet ski with one hand, and the other hand was holding a black bow. It was obviously the bow and arrow he had just shot. But he did not stop it and turned the car. He directly stuck the injured shark Gurungi with the fork in front, and then sailed directly towards the bottom of the sea. The Pegasus form was originally called the leader of the water warrior, and the fifth generation naturally had the ability to fight under the water. There was no slowing down. In this short period of time, Shark Grunge's body had almost recovered, and the fifth generation directly drove him towards the bottom of the sea. It turned more and more black, and the pollution here was too serious. The fifth generation directly inserted Shark Gurungi on a sharp stone cone on the ground, and then drove the motorcycle and left. A big seal appeared. Soon the fifth generation's motorcycle returned to the land. When the fifth generation just stopped, the ground began to shake. There was an explosion from above. The road that could be seen, and the flames engulfed an entire area over there, Godai raised his right hand and pointed it in that direction. Then the fragments of Daguba's golden belt flew directly into Godai's hands. Who are you? After Godai put away the fragments, Clint also arrived at the shore. He looked at Kuga and held the bow tightly with one hand while asking Godai. Quote dot 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 quote. The fifth generation did not answer Clint's words, but gave Clint a thumbs up, then turned the handlebars, turned around and left in the direction he had just come from. Clint held the bow without raising it, but just let the fifth generation leave. At the same time, he also took a look at the corroded area around him and saw the unpleasant smell. Clint pressed on the earphone, you also saw the monitoring equipment of the jet ski, how about it? Do you have any impression, who is this armored man? Waiting. Our people will be here soon. Clint, it seems your vacation is about to end, come back to the base. Learn. The fifth generation didn't know what impact the elimination of shark grunge would have this time, and now the fifth generation drove a motorcycle fused with Golem and rushed towards Tony's villa area. At the same time, the fifth generation also noticed that his own there was a small drone following behind. Instead of killing the drone, Wudai accelerated his speed and disappeared into a black shadow. After all, the drone was fast. No matter how fast it is, it can't be faster than the speed of sound. Soon the fifth generation returned to Tony's base and drove into the underground garage from the passage on the side. What is this on the car? Tony was waiting here. When the fifth generation was just heading into the distance, Tony discovered something was wrong with the locomotive. But at that time, the fifth generation did not have any communication equipment on his body, but the communication equipment to contact the vehicle was obtained. There were some strange noises. This made Tony a little worried, but fortunately the locomotive came back soon, and it also brought a big surprise. Tony looked at the thick armor around the locomotive with great curiosity. This is my fighting partner. Golem. The fifth generation has already released its transformation at this time. After getting off the motorcycle, he patted the thick armor and explained. Golem's armor turned into a force and disappeared after Tony scanned it. Godai could feel that this force returned to his belt. The fifth generation didn't know why Golem appeared here, but the fifth generation also had a small guess. Before he traveled through time, the spiritual stone Yamadam in his body had been completely shattered. In the end, according to Master Ancient One, Master Ancient One maintained the input of energy and allowed the spiritual stones to slowly gather together again. The fifth generation transformed into the ultimate form before the spirit stone shattered, and the ultimate form has a passage related to Golem on the ancient inscription. In order to prevent it from being used by the stern warrior ultimate form who brings the ultimate darkness, there is a mechanism in the body that automatically turns into sand when the Kuga Transformer's heart is swallowed by darkness. Single quote. That is, it is possible. After Golem transformed into its ultimate form in the fifth generation, Part of it was also contained in the spirit stone. When the fifth generation traveled through time, this will naturally followed him. If it had not appeared before, it might have been possible that the fifth generation had fully recovered its full combat effectiveness. Either. It's just that the previous motorcycle materials weren't good enough, so Golem couldn't possess it at all. Godai also felt that only these reasons could explain why Golem's will was in the spirit stone around his waist. However, Golem now belongs to his own power, and the fifth generation is still very happy. 
At least in this way, his anti-air ability can be considered. The fluctuations given by these data are the same as when you change the substance of something into a convenient weapon for you. And Tony glanced at the collected data and said to fifth generation. It should be because of the spiritual stone. The Godai silently found his abdomen, and the spiritual stone Yamadam was inside. And the conclusion Tony came to was the same answer as the Godai turned the long stick into the blue dragon stick. Obviously all this is Kuga's original power. It is really a magical power. If there is one, I would like to give it a try. Tony also said half-jokingly. Quote dot 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 quote. The fifth generation did not say anything, but smiled at Tony, and then looked at the entire room. The room was already filled with various projections, and the previous models were also assembled and put aside. So what about your side? Asked the fifth generation. All I can say is that the old man is still an old man, and he still teaches me lessons after being dead for so long. Tony spread his hands and looked at the floating architectural projection in front of him. He was already halfway through the process. There is a high possibility that this model is the design drawing of the new arc reactor. So, let me experience it, the moment when a new element is created. The fifth generation was also a little surprised after hearing what Tony said. The fifth generation didn't expect that the new elements would be figured out so quickly. So the fifth generation dragged a bench and sat in the distance, leaving Tony to do his best. Okay, then Jarvis continues his previous work and removes these grasses. Tony saw that Godai didn't sit in just to avoid suspicion, so he smiled and continued his work. Soon, under Tony's orders, a circular prototype of the element appeared in front of Tony. Quote dot dot dot. It turned out to be this, really an old man. Tony shrunk the entire element and looked at the small blue projection ball in front of him. Tony's eyes were a little red. He smiled, and then Tony opened his hands directly. He spread out all the elements. It looked like the composition of the starry sky. Way, Tony smiled happily. Congratulations sir. You discovered a new element. Jarvis also spoke immediately. No, I just presented him. Tony shook his head. He had to admit that he couldn't research this new element yet. That's pretty awesome too. Mr. Stark is also a true genius. If it were not subject to the limitations of the technology at the time, this element might really change the entire world. The fifth generation saw that Tony had completed the production of new elements. He also came over and said at the same time. He he. Tony didn't say anything, but chuckled, stretched his body, reached out and turned off all the projections of the elements. It looks like I'm going to have a good workout next, so how about Godai come and help me? Tony has discovered the new element, so the next step is to make it. But if you want to make the new element and not let others know, it will be a lot more troublesome. Okay, if you need me anytime, I'll be here. The fifth generation did not refuse, but said this. Even if you know how to make the elements, if you want to make them, you still need a lot of engineering. This is not a matter of a day or two. More importantly, Tony customized the metal of the Mark series will be delivered soon. Because all the previous five generations of motorcycles had samples, Tony made them in about a month, and all the armor of the Mark series required special drawings. Tony wouldn't give this kind of drawing to anyone else. In addition, Tony didn't want people in the company to know what he was doing, so he divided it into many messy companies and made some special medals in batches. There are many people in the company now, but Tony can't trust them. Okay. By the way, how about a banquet tonight? Want to go with me? Tony feels relieved at this time. Although there are still metal fragments left in his chest, with this new arc reactor, there is no need to worry about poisoning, and the production of Mark II is also very smooth. This makes Tony is in a good mood. No, have you forgotten? I brought those two children to New York, left them at home on the first night, and then went to have a romantic relationship with you. The fifth generation spread his hands and said. Two. Those two kids. Tony heard Godai mention the two children, and Tony seemed to be thinking about something in his eyes. How? Don't tell me you're going there tonight. Be careful when they give you a shot. And Godai also said jokingly, of course it was a joke to give him a shot. But if Tony saw the two children in the past, he would definitely be ridiculed. Although Tony's character would not care too much about these things. Got it. Okay, okay. 
Tony said that he would not go, then he picked up a glass of red wine and drank it in one gulp while complaining to Godai. You don't know, Little Pepper said that for my safety, she prepared a lot of green wine for me. Liquid Sue, I feel like I'm going to turn green. The fifth generation heard Tony say that he was going green, which was a bit funny. In the beautiful country, there is no such thing as being green, so Tony didn't know either. If you don't want to go green, then treat Miss Potts well. Godai also patted Tony on the shoulder. It's already afternoon now, and Godai is ready to leave. By the way, Tony, can you help me find someone? When Godai was about to say goodbye, he suddenly thought of something and turned to Tony and said. How? Have you fallen in love with that girl? Or is there someone who has a grudge against you? Tony asked jokingly after hearing what Godai said. Quote dot dot dot. I told you, that's what you would do. The fifth generation complained somewhat helplessly. The relationship between the fifth generation and Tony is actually very good friends now. All right all right. Dot who is it? Johnny Brace, the fifth generation reported a name. Johnny Brace. I seem to have heard this name somewhere. Tony touched his chin and thought for a while and said, which motorcycle acrobat is he? You know. The man called Johnny Brace that the fifth generation was looking for was the man whom the fifth generation was looking for when he and the ancient one master talked about Ghost Rider. They knew that the Ghost Rider at this time was possessed by this man named Johnny Brace. Fifth generation also checked before coming. He is a very famous motorcycle stuntman. He heard that he was planning to perform a stunt by flying over a football field recently. There was not much information about other things, so fifth generation also placed his hope on Tony. This is one of the reasons why the fifth generation came to see Tony. I've seen it before, it's pretty good. Tony only saw Johnny Brace's training on a certain occasion a long time ago. What are you doing with him? Tony asked curiously. There is a power in him. The fifth generation didn't have anything to tell Tony about other dimensions, so this would only add to Tony's troubles. It just shows that Johnny Brace has a powerful force in his body, which may bring some disasters. Okay, I'll let Jarvis tell you about his situation and current situation. Tony didn't go into details. He has a lot of things at hand now. But in fact, Tony was also a little curious about who Johnny Brace was, and he actually made the fifth generation pay so much attention to him. The fifth generation didn't stay with Tony for a long time, and I rode the motorcycle back to the store in New York. According to Tony, the big box will be transported back later. If there is any problem with the motorcycle, just stuff it into the box and the robotic arm inside will automatically repair it. It only took Godai an hour or two to get back to the store, which was several times faster than before. When he arrived at the store, it was already past 8 o'clock in the evening. Godai simply packed up and asked the person who delivered the ingredients to deliver it. The ingredients arrived and they were ready for business. Everything seemed to be calm again. Little Pietro was very curious about the fifth generation motorcycle and kept saying that he wanted to drive it for a try. Of course, the fifth generation refused because of this car. The performance of the motorcycle is too strong, and it is easy for children to have trouble controlling it. Then little Wanda and little Pietro became waiters in the fifth generation store, but even though they are waiters, their work is actually very simple. Collect the chopsticks and put them in the dishwasher. The dishwasher will automatically wash the dishes and wipe the table. There are not many guests this evening. They are all old friends nearby and most of them are off work. After that, I came to Godai for a drink or some late night snacks. At around 1 o'clock, when there was no one in the store, a man opened the door of the store. Welcome, what would you like to eat? Godai looked at the man in a suit wearing sunglasses who opened the door and felt a little confused. What was he doing wearing sunglasses at night? Bring me whatever you want, I'm here to see you, the store manager. The man took off his sunglasses, then took out an ID and placed it in front of Godai and said. I'm from the Strategic Homeland Intervention, Enforcement and Logistics Division, Strategic Homeland Intervention, Enforcement and Logistics Division, and my name is Phil Colson. Land. What a long name. The fifth generation complained, but did not make any food, but poured a cup of hot tea for Phil Colson, who claimed to be something. We are also thinking of ways to simplify him. Phil Colson also smiled and said. He also felt that the name was too long. Every time he said it, 
everyone who heard it would complain about it. So why did you come to me? Fudai smiled, and then asked curiously. What do you know about this person? And Phil Coulson took out a photo, which was the fifth generation transformed blue Kuga, Kuga in the blue dragon form, riding a motorcycle, which was taken by a drone. This is me. The name of this model is, Kuga Blue Dragon Form. Quote dot 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 quote. Then Phil Coulson was dumbfounded, because the fifth generation had no intention of hiding his identity, which made Phil Coulson somewhat unresponsive. At noon today, the name of the man saved by the fifth generation when he destroyed the shark grunge was Clint Barton. It's them shield. S. H. I. E. L. D. A. Level 7 agent inside. After encountering the attack, shield. H. I. E. L. D. Naturally started to take action, or before that, shield. Shield. H. I. E. L. D. I. Received some information about the weirdo. However, most of them were secretly eliminated by the fifth generation, so naturally there was no further pursuit, and this time they directly bumped into their agents. Naturally, I will check more. After a long period of investigation, they concluded that the fifth generation was most likely to be an armored man riding a motorcycle. Soon, the people from S.H.I.E.L.D. had collected almost all the information about the fifth generation. I came to visit Godai at midnight tonight, but I didn't expect that Godai had no hidden thoughts at all. This really caught Phil Coulson off guard. What's wrong? Godai asked, looking at Phil Coulson who was stunned for a moment. It's nothing, I just didn't expect that Mr. Godai would admit it directly. Phil Coulson also reacted immediately and smiled at fifth generation. Well, Mr. Godai, could you please tell me your identity? What other weirdos are there? Phil Coulson looked at Wu Dei's face, and then asked these questions slowly, as if he was watching Wu Dei's emotions. The sky was getting slightly brighter, and it was already the early morning of the next day. Phil Coulson scratched his head and put on the headphones that he had originally put down. Thank you for your cooperation, Mr. Godai. This is my business card. If you need anything, you can call me here. Phil Coulson felt that he knew too many things today. Um. Come. Drink a glass of milk, warm your stomach, and then go back and have a rest. Godai smiled and nodded, pouring a glass of hot milk for Phil Coulson. Trouble. Phil Coulson did not refuse, but after drinking it in one gulp, he stood up, put down some dollars, and suddenly remembered something. By the way, there is someone who wants to thank you in person. Quote question mark quote. Fifth generation was a little confused, but he still followed Phil Coulson out of the door of his store. As expected, there were many black cars at the door, and there were also some men dressed like Phil Coulson, who were now heading inside the cars. And the man who wanted to meet Godai had already come over. It is you. The fifth generation recognized it. Isn't this the master of archery who was fighting against the shark Gurungi yesterday? Thank you, Mr. Godai, for saving my family yesterday. And the man stretched out his hand to Godai with a serious face, and Godai also reached out and shook it. Nothing, this is my mission. The fifth generation nodded slightly, then took out two business cards from his pocket and handed them to the two of them. This is my name card. On the business card is printed a little man with a thumbs up, along with Godai's name, a phone number and a paragraph. Yusuk Godai, 4999 skills. A man who pursues his dreams and is also the owner of a small restaurant. After sending the two people off, Godai returned to the store. Soon Godai discovered the two children upstairs who were secretly looking down. You haven't slept yet. Godai simply tidied up the store, then went upstairs, rubbed their heads, and looked at the two people who were still sleepy. Godai knew that the two of them had been eavesdropping upstairs. Before that at that time, the fifth generation asked the two people to rest first. As a result, after Phil Coulson arrived, he probably heard something, so he immediately came over secretly to eavesdrop. Mr. Godai, will you leave here by then? Little Wanda looked at Wu Dai with both eyes, as if hoping to get the answer she wanted from Wu Dai. I still have to go home after all, but there are still a lot of things to deal with now, so I probably haven't left yet before you start your own families. Godai smiled and rubbed the heads of the two children. If he had won the bid that night, his own child would probably be older than the two of them. Godai had been quiet for a while. No one from S.H.I.E.L.D. came to find Godai. Ghost Rider was also very quiet. Nothing happened. 
Just in case, Godai specially asked Tony to help keep an eye on it. It wasn't until Tony called a week later that he wanted to invite the fifth generation to come over and watch a moment that changed history. Godai knew that Tony just needed his brute strength, but Godai still rode his motorcycle. As expected by the fifth generation, after helping Tony remodel the basement, Tony began to make new elements. The fifth generation did not watch because this kind of thing already involved Tony's privacy. You must know that Tony did not produce new elements in any company under his own name, but put them under the villa just to avoid letting others know. Godai knew that Tony didn't mind going to see it, but Godai still respected Tony and did not follow him. As the challenge time tomorrow afternoon. Do you want to go and see it live? The fifth generation was upstairs, looking at the Johnny Brace information that Jarvis gave him. Do you need me to buy you a ticket? Mr. Godai. The fifth generation soliloquy was heard by Jarvis, who immediately asked. If possible. Godai did not refuse, he also wanted to see in person what kind of person this man named Johnny Brace was. Okay, the tickets have been bought. Hey Jarvis, get me one too. After the fifth generation finished speaking, Tony immediately walked up from below, holding an arc reactor in his hand, and said to Jarvis at the same time. Success. Looking at Tony's happy look, Godai knew that Tony had succeeded now. That is. New element. Tony placed the arc reactor in front of the fifth generation. What released energy in the arc reactor was a triangular blue element. Buzz. 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 Looking at this new element at this time, Wudai felt a warm feeling in his waist, and then the belt slowly emerged. What's wrong? Tony looked at the belt emerging from Godai's waist and asked with some confusion. I don't know, my belt seems to have a resonance with this new element. The fifth generation is not sure. He can only feel that the spiritual stone on the belt seems to be releasing weak energy fluctuations. This kind of fluctuation is very small. The fifth generation can feel that his belt contains such power, but there is not much. Light blue. Tony, who is opposite the fifth generation, could most intuitively feel that the white spirit stone on the fifth generation's belt turned into a light blue color in an instant, and then quickly disappeared. Light blue. The fifth generation turned his head and looked at it. Sure enough, the spirit stone on his waist released a light blue look. This color is very different from the state of transforming into a blue dragon. The green dragon form is a dark blue color, which is more the color of the arc reactor in front of the fifth generation flashed for a while, and then the belt became completely silent, as if the power was simply not enough, and it immediately stopped functioning. Who is that just now? The fifth generation tried to use the power on his belt, and a light blue color appeared once, but then disappeared. It seems that if you want to transform, it doesn't seem possible. I don't know, maybe it's a new power. Wu Dai shook his head. He knew that spirit stones have the ability to evolve infinitely. Does his performance just now show that he may have a new form that he can use? Do you want to test it? Tony asked. No need, I can feel it, harmless. It's just that the strength seems to be insufficient. It may take a long time. As the strength gradually increases, it will be able to transform into a new form. Fudai shook his head and said. Um, then come down and take a look at my masterpiece. Tony heard the fifth generation say this and did not force it. Instead, he took the fifth generation down to the basement. A large area in the basement was transformed into various pipes. This was the area that Tony had renovated in order to make new elements. Tony went to replace some the fifth generation helped to dismantle the things. Now that Tony has completed the production of the new elements, Tony has his own method for the next mass production. After the fifth generation reluctantly packed it up, Tony took A. The manipulator came over. There was a jet on the manipulator. I didn't know what it did. Godai knew this manipulator. According to Tony, it was his work in college. It was an artificial intelligence, but it looked dull, so Tony simply he called the other person Shoudai. Tony was wearing some parts, and there were some special air jets on his hands and feet, which Tony didn't notice at first, but fifth generation suggested putting them on. Maintain the center of gravity angle during flight, etc. Do you want to debug? Fifth generation can see that Tony's Mark II has been shipped back, but it seems that the data that can support Tony's flight has not been completed yet. Um. Jarvis is ready to record. Thank you for your hard work, fifth generation. 
Tony said, opening his hands, and then. View, in an instant, Tony hit the wall, and the fifth generation had not yet reacted. Fortunately, Tony had prepared protective measures, and when he fell from the wall, he looked okay and was not seriously injured. Puff. Then the robot next to him sprayed fire mist towards Tony. The degree is too high, please fix it. Tony stood up, looking uninjured. Then he turned to look at the robot Derpy. Also, I will spray after burning, otherwise I will send you to the university. Okay. Jarvis finished his words, and then Tony flew out again, but this time the fifth generation was ready. Almost in an instant, the fifth generation caught Tony. Oh, the speed is still too fast. When Godai put Tony down, Tony also knew that it would be very troublesome for him to continue the experiment like this. Godai on the side suggested, how about starting from 1%? Okay. Jarvis. Okay. Once again, Jarvis got the message. Then this time it floated very slowly and slowly, and then landed successfully. Go ahead and adjust it twice as much. Tony seemed to have found the trick. It slowly increased, and soon he was completely flying, but it seemed to be uncontrollable, flying around in the basement. He headed directly towards a bunch of Tony's luxury cars. When the fifth generation saw this he went up and pushed all the cars away, so that Tony's cars were not burned. Soon Tony landed. Okay. I can fly. Tony gave a thumbs up. In this short period of time, Tony got used to how to fly. Congratulations. The fifth generation was also happy for Tony when he saw this. Tony gave a thumbs up to the fifth generation, and then walked to an area on the side with many robots. The robots started working and directly put a set of silver armor on Tony. By the way, Jarvis, take out another gift for the fifth generation. At this time Tony said. Okay. Mr. Godai is here. After Jarvis heard Tony's order, he also opened another area, and then something that looked like a flying device was pushed out from the middle. This is. The fifth generation looked at the appearance of this motorcycle, but he was a little surprised that it had multiple jets. He didn't know whether it should be said to be a small aircraft or a small motorcycle. RP flight number one. It was originally part of the plan. Didn't you say before that Golem had no physical entity? Give this a try. Can you fly? Tony explained briefly, RP is Rider Plan, which is the abbreviation of Rider Plan. Thanks. Although Godai wanted to say that although the current Golem had no physical body, the source of his power was the spirit stone in his waist. So even without using this aircraft, he could change the form of Golem attached to the motorcycle and fly into the sky with him. It's just that Tony gave himself such a big gift, so naturally Godai was very touched. Just right. Let's give it a try. Tony was already out of the mask at this time, all equipped, and the silver armor all over his body looked very handsome. The fifth generation looked at this set of silver armor, but another set of armor appeared in his mind. Before the time travel, the fifth generation the G1 in the G series developed by the United Police Department is also silver, but at that time, the G1 had not been completed and he traveled through time. Five generations. Tony looked at Godai as if he was in a daze, and shouted. Quote dot dot dot. It's okay, I just remembered something. The fifth generation also came to his senses and got on the motorcycle directly. Compare your speed. Jarvis, you be the referee. Help me test the control of the shell first. Tony became very interested. However, he still made some preparations before taking off. Following Tony's command, the armor all over his body moved and he looked even more handsome. All right. Jarvis ready. After confirming that there was no problem, Tony looked at Godai who was also ready and gave the order. But sir, it needs to go through a lot of testing before flying. Jarvis suggested. Jarvis. You know, sometimes it's better to run before you walk. Tony's words cut off Jarvis's words. Okay. Get ready. Jarvis can only start giving orders. 3, 2, 1. Phew. The silver armor took off directly, and the flying device driven by fifth generation also took off immediately. Oh who, Tony looked very excited, flying in the air, but the fifth generation did not pull down, did not transform, but just flew around with Tony in his physical body. Then the two of them raced in the air get up. However, the speed of the two is almost the same. Fifth generation, I'm going to test the height issue. If it freezes then, it's up to you. 
Then Tony left a word and flew directly towards the sky. The fifth generation did not follow, but watched Tony's flight from below. Soon Tony lost contact, and the fifth generation also saw Tony's armor. It was covered with ice and seemed to have lost its power source. Upon seeing this, Godai twisted the handle and flew towards Tony. When he was close to Tony, Godai quickly turned a knob on the side of Tony's thigh. Opened Tony's aileron. Oh who, the opening of the ailerons caused the ice on the periphery of Tony's armor to disperse a lot, allowing his system to activate again, but it didn't sound as if Tony was not afraid at all, and instead shouted happily. How do you feel? The fifth generation controlled the flyer one and floated next to Tony and asked. Happy. Tony is very excited, he is very happy now ideographic comma. Then go back. It's time to get your new, heart. The fifth generation is still a little worried about Tony's body, especially the old arc reactor, which is still poisoning Tony. Especially with such high intensity use of energy, it is estimated that the poisoning will continue to spread. Tony also knows this possibility, so the two flew in the direction of Tony's house, and soon returned to Tony's house. Then the fifth generation flew in from the entrance to the basement, and Tony wanted to stop outside, so he did not go down like the fifth generation. When the fifth generation got off the flyer one, there was a loud noise. It turned out that Tony wanted to land on the roof, but the weight of the Mark II was too heavy, and it directly broke through the roof and fell from the roof. It broke through the second floor, the first floor, and hit the basement. Fortunately, the fifth generation moved Tony's car aside, otherwise, he would have smashed several of them. It's okay. The fifth generation knew that Tony's life was not a problem. After all, the Mark II also had a shock-absorbing device, so he stepped forward with some curiosity and tapped Tony's visor with his finger. Fine. But it worked. Tony opened Mark II's visor and smiled happily. Then get up. Godai pulled Tony to stand up, and then took off the Mark II with the help of Jarvis. Godai called the store and asked little Wanda to rest early, while Godai himself stayed in Tony's inside the villa, helped Tony perfect the Mark series. By the way, Tony put it on. There should be no problem after testing for so long. When the prototype of the Mark V was loaded, it was almost the morning of the next day. At this time, the fifth generation suggested that Tony replace the arc reactor. The test was almost done before, but at that time the two of them were when discussing Mark IV, we almost tested it. Okay. Help me. Tony pulled out a drawer from the drawer on one side. There were some strange things in it. Tony said. Just in time, the previous extraction method of the arc reactor should be modified. Um. Tony lay on the recliner. Godai slowly pulled out the arc reactor and saw a ball of liquid inside. While handling the liquid, Godai modified the contact facilities inside. Tony looked a little uncomfortable, but not bad. Don't ask me why I trust you. While exchanging materials, Tony seemed bored and chatted with fifth generation. Trust does not need a reason. If you trust me, then I will repay you with my trust. Godai said seriously. Sure enough, you are really interesting. Can you tell me about it? Things from your past. We have never had a good chat before. Tony grinned and asked. That's a long story. The fifth generation did not refuse. Tony is now entrusting his life to the fifth generation, and the fifth generation will not hide his past. As it happens, we still have some time before going to see the acrobatic show. Tony said. That started when I returned to the island country after traveling abroad. On this day, Tony and Godai talked about many things that they had never talked about before. At least Tony had a deeper understanding of Godai's past. So when you left your woman, you didn't think about anything else. Tony asked after the fifth generation finished talking about his past. Others. You mean to leave Japan with Lan. Fudeidao. Well, almost. But after I leave, where are the others? Lan's brother Shuin, my sister Shaoshi, and the shop owner's father. My uncle, my various friends, and the people I had persuaded before, I fled, but what about the others? Godai said, when I accepted the power of the belt, I knew that this was my mission. The fifth generation paused for a long time, and when he was helping Tony turn on the new arc reactor, the fifth generation finally spoke. Tony. I know that when I destroy grunge, I am also destroying a life. I have always felt guilty about taking the lives of others. 
Because I don't want to become a being who lives only for fighting. The same to you. Quote dot 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 quote. Tony didn't reply, as if he was thinking about Godai's words. Until now, the fifth generation's purpose of fighting has always been to protect the smiles of others. Even if it was to eliminate Gurungi, the fifth generation would go on carrying the guilt of destroying lives. Tony wasn't talking to Godai about these things. After Tony took a brief nap, the fifth generation rode the motorcycle, while Tony set off in the sports car. Explosive Johnny's Super Challenge. Fly across the field. Sure enough, as I approached the destination stadium, I saw a big banner. Mr. Stark. Sure enough, when Godai and Tony arrived, Tony was recognized immediately, and many people recognized Tony. They gathered around and wanted to get to know Tony. Godai had no choice but to take over for the security guard. After working, the two entered the stadium. The stadium was already full of people. It seemed that many people were looking forward to this leap challenge. Tony and the fifth generation's tickets were in the VIP seats at the top, and there were many people around. It seemed that they wanted to talk to Tony, but Tony ignored them and instead leaned against the railing with Godai and chatted about something. So what? Did you come over today to confirm that the acrobatic power within his body has awakened? I just feel this way, so to speak. Come on, how about going backstage to meet this acrobat? Tony made a suggestion, and Godai thought for a while and agreed. Flying across the stadium is not a difficult thing for Godai, because Godai is still very confident in his driving skills, but that's because Godai is empty. And Johnny is just an ordinary person, and with so many viewers, it will be difficult to meet him if he succeeds. Mr. Stark. As we all know, Tony is really known to everyone in the beautiful country. But just as he walked to the player resting area below, a bunch of reporters who were originally planning to interview Johnny Breeze all gathered around Tony. Okay. Okay. I just came here to watch the fun, and leave other things aside. Tony spread his hands, and then Godai continued to act as a bodyguard. With the help of a person who looked like Johnny Brace's agent, he entered Johnny Brace's room. Quote dot 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 quote. At this time, Johnny Brace was standing on a mirror wearing sunglasses and taking a deep breath. Johnny. Shish. Johnny Brace stopped his agent's words, and after a long time he turned around and looked over, what's the matter? There's still a little while to start. It's Mr. Stark who wants to see you. Quote dot 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 quote. Tony did not speak, but looked at the agent. The agent was also a sensible person. He immediately nodded slightly to Tony and then exited the room. Flying over the course, well, there are six Ospreys. Very challenging. And Tony looked at his watch and laughed about the fact that Johnny Brace had just contacted a military friend to transport six Ospreys. Mr. Stark, what do you want from me? Johnny Brace's character is still more his own way, and he doesn't have any respect for Tony. Instead, he asked directly. This time he is looking for you. Tony gave up his position and let the fifth generation behind him talk to Johnny. You. Johnny looked at Godai, but when he looked at Godai, he felt that his body was a little uncomfortable, so he took two steps back and held his forehead slightly. My whole body seems to be getting warm. Quote dot dot dot. Shet. Johnny shook his head in discomfort. He felt a power slowly awakening in his body. This was not the state he wanted. Calm down. Godai said after seeing this. When Godai opened his mouth to speak, the power in Johnny's body was instantly contained. Who are you? Johnny sat directly on the ground at this time, looking at the fifth generation with a very serious expression. He had already taken off his sunglasses when he was feeling uncomfortable. Just a passing common rider. Godai smiled and sat in front of Johnny. You should feel it too. The power in your body. Quote dot dot dot. That power gained from the deal with the devil back then. The fifth generation's words opened Johnny's memory like a key. Many years ago, Johnny was a young man who had just grown up, and he and his father performed motorcycle shows in a mobile amusement park. Somewhere, he was raped Johnny stayed for more than a year. That year Johnny fell in love. When he originally planned to fly away with the woman, he found out that his father was about to die. That night he made a deal with the devil. In exchange for his father's help, how could a deal with the devil be so simple? The next day, on the day he originally planned to elope after the performance, his father died in an accident. Johnny knew that it was not an accident, 
that was the devil's method. The devil just stood in the distance, looking at him with a weird smile. Johnny felt like he was crazy, and he abandoned the woman and left that place. Now, who are you? Johnny looked at Godai, his eyes seemed to be able to spit out flames. He was very angry. That memory was one he had never wanted to mention. Yusuk Godai. The fifth generation introduced himself. Quote dot dot dot. What do you want from me? Johnny looked at Godai and calmed down his mood. There's something about the, ghost rider, inside you. But you still have an exhibition match today, so go for it. What I can confirm now is that this power is indeed within your body. Not awake yet. I hope he never wakes up. Johnny seemed very angry about talking about this issue, and interrupted Godai's words with an angry roar, his face turned red from suppressing it. Quote dot 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 quote. Godai did not continue, but then looked at Johnny seriously and said, I know, I will try my best. Quote question mark question mark question mark quote. Johnny thought that Godai wanted to say something, but looking at Godai's serious expression, Johnny suddenly didn't know what to say. Tony, let's go. Godai did not stay, but turned to look at Tony. Tony nodded, and the two opened the door and left. Johnny left with a question mark. What do you mean by what you just said? Tony and Godai walked towards the VIP area above, and Tony asked. Nothing, Tony, go up first. Godai smiled at Tony, and then let Tony go up to the VIP area first. Godai stayed in the unmanned passage and took out his mobile phone. Godai made a call on the phone, and someone quickly answered it. Fifth generation, what's wrong? The other end of the phone is Master Ancient One. Even though Master Ancient One is the supreme master, they are not savages. Almost everyone is using mobile phones, computers, tablets, wireless networks and so on. Something about Ghost Rider. The fifth generation's voice was very soft. Quote dot 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 quote. Master Ji Yi on the other end of the phone paused for a while, hung up the phone, and then opened a portal in front of Wu Dai, and Master Ji Yi walked out of it. Go Dai, do you want to replace him? Yeah. Master Ji Yi walked out of the portal, and the portal slowly closed. Ji Yi stood in front of Wu Dai like this. Um. Godai nodded seriously, and then said, for him, this power brings him too much despair, so is it okay for me to carry this power? But you will leave this world eventually. Master Ji Yu Yi said. Quote dot 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 quote. Fifth generation was stunned for a moment, then looked at Master Ji Yu Yi seriously and said, before I leave, I will awaken the will of this power. Quote dot 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 quote. Master Ji Yu Yi looked into Wu Dai's eyes and said nothing, but Wu Dai continued. So, Master Ji Yu Yi, is there any way? Transfer this power into my body. Hey. Wait a moment, what are you saying? Five generations. Who knew that Tony's figure came over, shouted to fifth generation and then looked at Master Ji Yu Yi. And who are you? This one is the supreme mage who protects the world, the ancient one mage. Wu Dai saw that Ji Yu Yi had no intention of hiding it, so he also introduced it to Tony, and then continued to look at Master Ji Yu Yi. Master Ji Yu Yi, do you have such an ability? Have. Have. Master Ji Yu Yi's words made Wu Dai slightly relieved, but the following words disappointed Wu Dai, but, no. Why? Is it because I am not from this world? No. Master Ji Yu Yi said, slightly pointing his hand at Wu Dai's waist, it's because of it. Spiritual stone. He was slightly startled, expressing some doubts. The power of the spirit stone in your waist is too special. It can absorb some specific power and assimilate it into its own power. If the power of Ghost Rider is directly integrated into your body, it will be completely assimilated by the power of the Spirit Stone in less than three minutes. When the time comes his will. Master Ji Yu Yi didn't finish what he said, but Wu Dai could understand the meaning of Ji Yu Yi's words. So what can I do? The fifth generation sighed, it seems like it's not going to work anymore, so what else can he do? Let him grow. Johnny Brace is very special. Mage Ji Yu Yi showed a smile, then turned around and opened a portal. That's all. The fifth generation nodded. If there is no other way, this is the only way. Then he bowed respectfully to Master Ji Yu Yi. Thank you for your hard work, Master Ji Yu Yi. No, come and sit in the New York Temple when you have time. The Ancient One Master smiled slightly, then turned to look at Tony and said with a smile. 
First meeting, Tony Stark. Iron Man. Let's talk about it next time we have a chance. As he spoke, Master Ancient One walked into the portal, and the portal slowly closed. Tony wanted to go up and touch him, but Godai stopped him. This is a very strange substance. It is used to directly open the positional barriers in two places. Don't touch it with your hands, it may cut your hand in half. The words of Godai made Tony not go, but instead focused on Godai. So, you will explain to me what is going on. Which explanation do you want to hear? Asked the fifth generation. All. Let's start with the Ancient One Mage. The Ancient One Mage is the supreme mage who protects the earth. However, he does not protect the material world, but protects the earth from invasion from any dimension. The fifth generation gave a simple explanation. But Tony still couldn't accept it. This unscientific. Science once believed that the earth was flat. Humans are the only intelligent creatures in the universe, aren't they? Godai asked with a smile on his face. Quote dot dot dot. That's true. Tony nodded slightly, then changed the subject and asked Godai. What is the power in Johnny's body? That's the power from other dimensions. Godai explained the situation without hiding it from Tony. Quote dot 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 quote. After Tony found out, he could only sigh, but he didn't say anything. He patted Godai on the shoulder and said, go and see the excitement. Godai nodded, and the two of them continued to the VIP area. Focusing on Johnny's entrance, he saw a young female reporter talking to Johnny. A trace of green energy flashed across Godai's abdomen, and his five senses instantly became very powerful. Godai heard the conversation between the two. Although it was a bit messy, Godai understood. This woman and Johnny once had a relationship, and it seemed that Johnny now also had feelings for her. The reporter seemed to have such feelings for Johnny, but he seemed to be very repulsive. Soon Johnny is on the scene. Without any words or preparation, I just said a few words to my agent, and instantly I started from the starting point and flew over six ospreys. Oh, the atmosphere in the audience immediately erupted. This is a new record. Godai and Tony left quietly, Godai said to Tony, I'm going back to the store tonight, do you have any plans? Hmm, let's take a look. Another party was held in my name tonight. I haven't seen it for so long. I have to go out and have a look no matter what. How about it? Do you want to come together tonight? No, you have fun. The fifth generation shook his head, then started the motorcycle and drove in the direction where the female reporter left. Because he flew six ospreys before, Johnny went to chase the female reporter. And Tony looked at the fifth generation who left, sighed, it has been a few months since he became friends with Godai, and Tony already fully knows Godai's character. The fifth generation originally wanted to find Johnny, but immediately saw what Johnny said to the female reporter and seemed very happy. The fifth generation did not go to say anything to Johnny, but went to the New York temple to search. Ancient Master. After chatting with Master Ji Yu Yi for an entire afternoon, Godai returned to the store. The fifth generation was thinking about how to deal with the matter about Johnny. According to Master Ancient One, Johnny was actually worried about the deal with the devil before. Even in several previous performances, he made mistakes and wanted to die on the stage like this, but Johnny, who had the power of the ghost rider, never succeeded, and he was not even seriously injured. Quote dot dot dot. Let's talk to Mr. Carter Shirey. The fifth generation thought about it for a long time and prepared to meet Katsori, the last ghost rider, who he had met before in Sokovia. The place where Katsori was located was a cemetery, and the fifth generation went to the cemetery. When they were in the garden, Kate Shirey was digging the soil. Seeing the appearance of the fifth generation, Kate Shirey was not surprised at all, but asked, T. Um. The fifth generation nodded, and then followed Kat Shirey into the house where he lived. Kat Shirey poured a cup of hot tea for the fifth generation. Then he sat opposite the fifth generation. So. What's the matter? I want to ask about Ghost Rider. Fudai didn't hide it, but asked directly. Ghost Rider. It's really a name I've heard a long time ago, but you are looking for the wrong person because I am not the Ghost Rider anymore. Kate Shirey was slightly taken aback by the Ghost Rider mentioned by Godai, then shook his head and said. I know, I have already met this generation of Ghost Rider. He hasn't awakened yet. The fifth generation told Kat Shirey about Johnny. 
Kate Shire didn't say anything to Godai, but drank tea for a long time, and then said, Are you interested in hearing a story? I am glad to. The fifth generation nodded, put the cup aside and listened carefully to Carter Shire's story. Telling a story many years ago. Many, many years ago. A very young and handsome Mountie is working somewhere in Texas. He is the admired object of many people, and he is also a very responsible mounted policeman, but he also has his own problem, that is, he is a very greedy person. And such a big shot will naturally have competitors. Coupled with his own greed, he was sent to prison. In prison, he signed an agreement with the devil in exchange for his freedom. And all the devil got was him as his slave. It's just that the devil asked him to do the job of destroying evil people, which made him feel like the deal was not a bad one, until once he was ordered to take back the souls of everyone in a small town, because the souls of everyone in that town were filthy. But in the small town, he saw too much. Human nature is not only evil, but also good, so he betrayed the devil, stole the town's contract, and then left the devil. Unexpectedly, the devil did not chase him, but just took back his power. Quote dot dot dot. What's it like to be the ghost rider? Asked the fifth generation. It was a very strange feeling. I knew it was me, but I couldn't control myself. I couldn't forgive all the sins. I just want to judge all those sinners. Kate Shirey said softly. I understand, Mr. Carter, do you know the origin of Ghost Rider? The fifth generation nodded slightly, and then asked. No. Kate Shrey shook her head. So let's hear my side of the story. The fifth generation told Kate Shirey what the Ancient One told him about the mystery of the birth of the Ghost Rider. When Kate Shirey listened, her fingers were trembling slightly. After the story ended, she sighed for a long time. He said in a tone, use the angel's persistence for justice to help you finish. As expected of a devil. Yes, the fifth generation also thinks so. After staying with Katsori for a while, the fifth generation said goodbye to Katsori. The fifth generation originally just wanted to know from Katsori that he had become a villain. Now I know what it would be like to be a spirit knight. When I returned, I saw someone I didn't expect, Johnny Brace. Awakening. How can it be? Godai's expression changed as he watched Johnny leaving the alleyway in the distance with the motorcycle blazing with flames. Logically speaking, it's impossible. When he saw Johnny before, the ghost rider in his body seemed to have some feelings for him. When he was about to come out, he stopped the other party. Logically speaking, it would be impossible unless he appeared at night. Mephisto. The fifth generation gritted his teeth and prepared to turn the front of the motorcycle. However, before the fifth generation could turn around, he remembered what he heard Johnny and the female reporter say in the afternoon. Gritting his teeth, the fifth generation accelerated the speed of the motorcycle and turned towards going in one direction. In a hotel restaurant, Roxanne Simpson was very sad. He and Johnny had made an appointment to elope, but Johnny didn't take her with him. After meeting for a long time, she was angry with him. She still had a deep relationship with Johnny, and it seemed that Johnny did too. So she agreed to a date with Johnny. She originally made an appointment to have dinner here at 8 o'clock in the evening, and she had put on her makeup, but now it was already past 8 o'clock, and she still had a date. No sign of Johnny. Miss Roxanne Simpson. When Roxanne Simpson was even a little desperate and ready to order a few more bottles of wine to vent her dissatisfaction, a voice sounded. It's me. Roxanne Simpson turned around and took a look. The man next to her was very plain. She was a reporter, so naturally she had been on TV. It was not surprising that she had fans. I'm Johnny's friend. He's busy with something right now, so can we meet later? The one who walked up to Roxanne Simpson was naturally the fifth generation. The fifth generation knew that Johnny and Roxanne still had feelings for each other, but if something like this happened, the two of them would have problems, so the fifth generation I will give priority to Roxanne and help Johnny and Roxanne apologize. Why doesn't he do it himself? Roseanne Simpson was very unhappy and wanted to grab the fifth generation. Obviously, she was let go, which made her very sad. Roxanne Simpson thought that although she was not very beautiful, she still had some good looks, and today Johnny's it was obvious that she still cared about herself but it was very uncomfortable for her to be in such a situation after finally going on a date. Because he still has something very important. So sorry. But I'll bring him here soon. 
The fifth generation gave a thumbs up to Roxanne Simpson, then turned and left. Wait. Roxanne Simpson originally wanted to tell fifth generation that she would directly follow fifth generation to see what Johnny was doing, but fifth generation left too fast. Thank you Jarvis for your hard work. Fifth generation walked to his motorcycle and put on his headphones. Mr. Godai. Flyer 1 is on standby. Jarvis's voice came from the headset. In order not to cause trouble to others, Godai decided to use Flyer 1 to chase Johnny. Because Johnny's car was in flames, burning the entire ground with traces. In addition, the surrounding vehicles and stores also suffered a lot of damage, so the fifth generation of the flying equipment made by Tony was named the Flyer, and the fifth generation of the motorcycle was named a very nostalgic one, Chaser. The fifth generation drove the Chaser 1 out of the bustling urban area, and the Flyer 1 was already on standby in the sky. The fifth generation pulled up the front of the car and pulled the Chaser 1 directly to the Flyer 1. Above, the motorcycle's tires are embedded on top of the Flyer 1. Boom. As the fifth generation turned the throttle, it turned into a shadow and chased Johnny's path of flames. Soon the fifth generation caught up with Johnny. Johnny seemed to have no will at this time holding the handle of the motorcycle tightly with both hands, and the tires of the entire motorcycle were releasing flames. The speed has exceeded the limit of this car, but it is still accelerating. Fifth generation is following behind. Fifth generation wants to know where the destination is. Soon, the destination arrived, an old train repair shop. After Johnny's motorcycle slowed down, it threw Johnny completely out, while the fifth generation flying chaser stopped outside. Fifth generation can sense that there are many things that are not human inside. Thinking of this, the belt around Wu Dei's waist slowly appeared. Ah. But before the fifth generation could find the target, Johnny shouted. Thanks for watching.